What if you could take your Zoom chat messages and display them live on your video? Like this. Well, guess what? As you've seen, it's possible. Let's manage expectations. It's not a Zoom built-in feature, but you'll need a little setup to make this work. We'll do it with OBS Studio, and if you know it already, then it's easy. If instead you're not familiar with OBS, you should check my Remote Presentation Hero course. The introduction to OBS and how to use it to improve your remote presentations are previewable and free on my website, so go check it out. So let's go do it. The feature works by installing a browser extension that's called Social Stream. It's brought to you for free by Steve. He's the video ninja guy. The same that I've been featuring in one of my previous videos. Thanks, Steve, for all your work. The extension works with all Chromium-based browsers, including Chrome, Edge and Brave. To install the extension, the first thing we have to do is to download it. Go to Code and then Download Zip. Then go to the downloaded file and extract it. Now open a browser window and go to the extensions icon. If you don't find it here, then just go to the three dots, more tools, and then extensions. From the icon, click on manage extensions. To load the new extension, you have to toggle the developer mode. Once done, go to load unpacked and select the folder that you've just extracted. Ok, the extension is there. My installation keeps showing an error. I'm not sure why, but this is not preventing me from using the extension. If I close the browser and then launch it again, sometimes the extension disappears and I have to reinstall it. I hope this is not happening to you, but just in case let me know in the comments. If you want to access it easily, go again to your extensions icon and then pin it. By doing so, it will show in the tab here. Now let's click on it to have a first look. The fact that it's all red, it's because it's not active. There are many options here, but the use is very simple. Let's now open OBS. And let's create a scene that we will use in Zoom. I'll include the camera. And now I have to set up OBS in order to take the information from the extension and bring it to the OBS video. First, we have to include the social stream doc. We'll do it by copying this URL, then back to OBS, going to docs, and then custom browser docs. I had already installed it and that's why it appears for me here. What you have to do is go to the first free row, then give it a name, it could be Ninja Chat, and then paste in here the link that you've just copied. Click on apply and close. Now go again to docs and in the list of available docs you should see the one that you've just created. Click on it and this is your social stream doc. Let me resize it. Here is where all your chat messages will appear and where you will be able to manage them. One more thing we have to do is to add an overlay to our video where we will display the messages that we choose. Go again to the browser extension and now copy the URL for the single message overlay link. And back to OBS. We'll now add the chat overlay by adding a browser source. So let's go to plus, browser, Let's call it Chat Overlay. And in the URL field, let's paste the link that we've just copied from the extension. You can leave the width and height like this and you can always adjust it later. So click on OK. And now we have a transparent video overlay. It's transparent because we don't have any content to display at the moment. So let me put it anyway at the bottom left. And let's now set up Zoom to display the chat messages. I've opened a new Zoom meeting and let me open the chat tab. Now a very important thing, the extension works only with the Zoom web application, so you will have to access the meeting also from the web. This meeting has been opened from the desktop application. From here I'll copy the invite link and then access the meeting also from the web. So how do we do that? Just paste the meeting link in the address bar and when you click on enter, Zoom will ask you if you want to open the meeting in the app. Here you will have to click on Cancel. Now you may already have these two options available. If not, click again on Launch Meeting and again on Cancel. After two times they should show. Now click on Join from your browser. This will open the Zoom meeting from the browser. I'll type a name and I'll choose Enrico Browser just to make it clear. And then click on Join. 
open the chat panel and now it's time to activate the extension. Click on its icon and then enable extension. Everything will turn to green. It means that the extension is now ready to capture the chat messages. Now you can forget about this browser window, you don't have to do anything more. And you can keep managing your Zoom meeting from the desktop. Let me type a message in the chat. As the message is sent to the chat, it will also display on your social stream dock. It's actually here, but it's behind the comments. So a little thing to fix for the future. So to make the chat messages list longer, let me add a few more messages. And I'll do it from the two accounts that have joined the meeting. There has been some discussion. Now, as a moderator or facilitator, you may want to pick one message and display it on your screen. This question is good and may interest the audience. So to display it, just click on it and it will pop up on your screen. You can leave it on screen as long as you want and then click on clear current overlay. So let me turn on my OBS virtual camera to send it to Zoom and see how the chat overlay shows on Zoom. Let me pin the screen. So these are my OBS and my Zoom applications. I've put the OBS application on top of the Zoom one to make things really clear. So I'll click on one message and voila, it will show on my Zoom. Now I may click a second one and a third one. This is just fantastic, isn't it? It brings your Q&As or icebreakers to a so much more professional level. If you're finding this video useful and want to help me grow my channel, please subscribe and hit the like button so more people will have the chance to watch the video. Thank you. Let's now look at the different options. With this button, you can clear the current overlay. Here you can pose incoming chat messages. If you select auto, then chat messages will be displayed on your video automatically as they come in. There's even a function to read out loud the messages. You can filter them. You can decide to hide all emojis. This is a feature more for streamers and the last one is send a message to all endpoints. This can be used to send a chat message without having to go on the Zoom chat. There are several more customization features that you may find useful. Let's go have a look. There's a light mode. You may want to hide the source icon. For example, if you're monitoring only your Zoom chat, it's not really necessary to have the Zoom logo appearing close to the message as it will be clear that all messages are coming from Zoom. However, if you're streaming to multiple platforms, it may be helpful to have the platform icon close to the message. There are many additional options. If you have some co-hosts or co-facilitators in the meeting that are managing the answers in the chat, you may want to exclude their messages from the doc to keep things a little bit clearer for you. Options can be applied to messages in the doc and also to how they appear on the overlay, like the alignment, how the overlay appears and disappears, and how it looks. You can even use your branded colors. And if your audience is in need for a laugh, then click on tell a random joke now. A random joke will appear in the chat. You can use the overlay chat messages for many applications like icebreakers or brainstorming. But the use that I like the most is during Q&A sessions. As a facilitator or moderator, you can pick questions and make it clear to everyone which question you're handling. This works very well also if you're producing the show and you're assisting the moderator or the speaker with picking the questions. Let me know in the comments below how you're using this feature. And if you want to spice up your video calls even more, then you could learn how to bring overlays during your live Zoom meetings. Like this this one or this one I have an idea and your lower third graphic overlay that's what I'm covering in this next video here go watch it now